What was Michael told when he rang Ross Cray to comment in, in vis a vis you looking for him and him mm. looking for you? What was he told? Well, actually, um, his partner said to us that I had abandoned him at two weeks instead of I looked after him for three and a half years and he still went back looking for me. And then, of course, when he developed the AIDS, he went back again and they still said they didn't know where I was and I was too. Did they know where you were? Well, I'd been telling them over the years, right? Every address I had in England, I wrote to them. I never got any answer, of course. Susan? Yeah, even if the nuns hadn't known where Philomena was and she had kept them abreast of all of her changes of address, the Department of Foreign Affairs knew where he was because there was a cache of files in the mm -hmm. Department of Foreign Affairs mm -hmm. and there was another bunch in the National Archives. So there is simply no excuse for not having reunited the two of them. And there are pictures, I think it's the most poignant picture actually from Martin's book, is the one with Michael, well Anthony, standing at the door of Ross Cray mm -hmm. uh, Convent, chatting, was it to Sister Hildegard? Or, yeah. So, so you have all this physical evidence that yeah. is yes. incontrovertible. It's and, and, and yeah. yes. there's loads of yeah. physical evidence. What, what was the fear? What was the fear um, on the part of the authorities, the convent and everyone involved in this uh, that kept them convinced that you should not meet your son and that his son should not meet his mother? What were they afraid of? Can you get to the bottom of this? Yes, I can. It's, yes, um, it's fear of um, revealing to the world that um, state and church uh, conspired in an illicit trafficking of over 2,000 children from Ireland to the US, which was illegal then, it's illegal now. And they did it under the guise of saving little orphans. Anthony wasn't an orphan. None of those children were. They all had perfectly loving mothers who had bonded with them. They had bonded with their mothers, but they were separated simply because their mothers were unmarried. And that remains a fact today. Our 2010 Adoption Act was just a, a kind of codifying of all of the other acts. That actually it retains that fact at the centre of, of the legislation. And this, is, this is part of the reason that you're in town today, of course, the Philomena Project. Which, which you have very generously lent your name to, I have to say, given that you're, you, know, you've, you should be enjoying your grandchildren. I think I heard you have great-grandchildren. It has to be believed. Have, this is where you should be doing that. And yet here you are with a cold on a chat show in Tulba. Yeah. You could be somewhere else enjoying a glass of brandy, I'm sure. But anyway, here you are. Uh, but, but it's pretty impressive. Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fix it for you myself after the show. I promise. Okay. You know you're in Ireland anyway.